Okay, I want to welcome you guys all back to the update. When we last left off, I was building the fast food restaurant foundation. I finished the wall, so now um, I got to build a couple things. Number one is the interior, and number two is the roof. Once I do that, that'll be pretty good. And uh, yeah, let's just get started. I'm joined here with the same people, Avaki and uh, Kurt from Vision Bricks. So, how are you guys doing? Good, yeah, doing pretty good. How about you? Yeah. Not bad myself, fine and dandy. I'm gonna do an internet. You're gonna do what? I was singing a song from AS. Yes. Hey, I'm a muffin. Kirk, I'm blaming you if this video gets demonetized. Why do I always have to be the reason for everything? <laughs> Did I just hurt your feelings, Kirk? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna leave. So what part of the building are you doing right now? That's actually a good question. I need to tell everyone on the camera what I'm doing. So basically what I'm doing right now is actually adding the awnings over the windows. Because I realize most modern fast food restaurants, at least, um, have awnings over the windows. And you guys know I'm a sucker for modern architecture. I'm gonna use an awning technique that I've never actually you know, attempt it before, because uh, I don't build awnings, but basically it's using some antenna pieces to look like the little structural supports that hold the the things up. What color are the awnings? They are yeah. um, black. Okay, nice. To match the black trims. Ow. Don't you hate it when that happens? We're queuing right now, Bobby. He's gone. Um, right now, I'm not really working on anything, because I put my stuff for the Outrider dropship away. Avaki, why did you put it away? Yeah, Avaki, why'd you put it away? I'm fascinated, I'm fascinated. That's really cool, oh my goodness. Ladies and gents. Uh, 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 uh. Words, uh. Come on, come on, turn the radio on. Okay, this isn't the singing stream. It's not a stream either. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, what's wrong? Why am I singing? You made me break my awning. I hate breaking <laughs> awnings. I have absolutely no interior done. I make the tables like all white. It would contrast pretty well, I think, with the black and green exterior. It probably would. I'll have to think about what to do because I gotta figure out the color of the floor. Goodness, I found another antenna. It's hard to stick this antenna on the stud because it was uh, partially damaged and the actual holder was squeezed from when I walked on Lego. Oh. I found that's Wait, happened to damaged. a lot of my pieces. Right now, I am uh, just working on the you know, whatever this is called. It's just building up the, the last parts of the exterior walls to actually tile everything off. So you can add everything on the roof and pretty much just complete the entire build. It's a tedious process, but worth it nonetheless. I think I'll just tile everything off with black. It will just fit a little bit more. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, right? Okay, well, I think I actually finished what I would call the exterior walls. And now all I gotta do is Beef up this interior, then do the roof. Yay, I love roofs. Hey, do you have any like foliage around or? Around uh, I'm gonna add something. Like I'm gonna add a little bit of planter bases by the front, but not at the moment. What if there's an episode that I did where nobody knew about it and I just destroyed the whole thing? And that's why I'm building it so fast is because I didn't actually start from scratch. Just adding carpeting and where uh, I want the booths to be, so I can actually add studs and then um. Uh, Everything else will probably be tiled off. Okay, I'm using dark tan for the studs. This might have a little bit more seats than I can have, or seat room than I can actually build. But that's not a huge problem. I can always just, you know, get rid of some things. This bathroom issue is going to be a little bit harder than I thought. Hmm. Hmm. Well, just like the outside, I'm going to build a foundation for it. Let's carpet this thing off, adding a little bit more dark tan. Spice this oh, thing up. I might make it hardwood floor, though, just on piece availability. Other than this build, do you have, or like, do you have any of your other mock together still? Mmm, that skeletal land speeder from a while back. Oh, really? Not that one? Okay. Just because yeah. I don't ever, you know, use those parts or anything, I don't need to take them apart. Yeah, that actually makes sense. At least that's my reasoning for keeping it together. Yeah, I'd like to keep my Outrider dropship together, but I took pieces from Star Wars set, so 
Yet the strongest choices require. Ah, oh, I set that backwards. The hardest choices require the strongest wills. Yeah, I don't think I've kept together a single mock at all. Really? The longest one I had was my Fortnite golf cart. How'd you take that apart? I needed white hearts. <laughs> uh. For the congratulations mock. Are those even in the game anymore? Oh yeah, they are. They are. The reason I am kind of lightly laying down these tiles, guys, instead of actually placing them down like normal people is because I don't know if I have enough of these creamy color tiles to cover the whole floor. Oh yeah, because once you put down a bunch of tiles, like after that, remove them, brick separator, especially the balls on, really annoying. Wait, what? Hmm? I was just looking at this mock. I miscalculated something. I might just barely have enough. If I have enough for this, wow, I can't believe that. I had exactly enough tiles to actually do that. It's like intense. Please have enough. I know this is a common problem for a lot of people. If I do have enough though, it's gonna be so satisfying to press everything down. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. We might have enough, dudes. We might have enough. We have enough. Mission success. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Just by enough too, I had exactly the amount I needed. It's like I ordered these pieces for this mock or something. Now to press these things down. Floors for like Lego modulars are typically tiled off right for at least the first floor. The first floor, it always is. What about the other floors? Like. Nah. Both of our sick big separate jackets. Honestly, you can know more about modulars I've created and mocks I've created than I do. I can barely remember what I've done. 8x32 modular buildings are extremely limiting just because you never have a lot of space to do things on the inside, or it just doesn't look the way you want it to, or you can't add as much detail, and it's kind of the reason why I stopped doing as met or as much of them. I hate it when I accidentally put in my little small Lego drawers in backwards, so it's really hard to actually fish them out. <laughs> I actually need to get a new drawer system because my drawers are hard to open, but... Oh, really? I don't know where I'm going to place it. Yeah, it's not just because, like, I have a bunch of, like, a certain type of piece or something. It's just I have lots of more weird-shaped pieces from, like, buying more vehicles and stuff like that. Once I... Add these brown bricks. I'm gonna wrap this video up though. I did not get as far as I wanted to, but I'm running out of daylight here. Um, this is the last update, guys. I know. Mwahaha. I'm evil. I didn't get to see or finish the whole thing for you guys. But if I continue to uh, do this kind of style where I have to wait around and everything, I'll never finish this mock. And this is not a mock that I should spend many days on, um, at least by my standards. So, what I'll do is I'll wrap it up here. Um, even if you couldn't see that much, hopefully you got to uh, enjoy a little bit of the building process and hear me voice my thoughts and speak to these people. But I will see you all guys in the, uh, the next one. You have perfect timing. Yes, we're about to leave. Great timing, Kurt. terrible. I am terrible sometimes. Yes, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Do all that crazy stuff you guys like to do and that I like to watch you guys do. Or that sounds yeah. weird, but <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. It's gonna be a full tour of this completed thing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the two updates. Let me know if you want to see more on bigger projects, because that would be a lot easier than doing this. Well, I'll see you guys later.